Evaluating an expression with a negative exponent whole number base. Rewrite the following without an exponent. Okay, so this is, the 9 here is what we call the base. The exponent is the negative 2. I want to rewrite this without an exponent. So, um, whenever I have a negative exponent right here, that means that I'm dealing, really dealing with a fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over 1 and make it a fraction for now. Now, wherever the negative exponent is, whether it's upstairs in the numerator or downstairs in the denominator, that just means it's not happy where it is and it would like to move to the other neighborhood, okay, or cross the line. So this 9 to the negative 2 the negative exponent means I'm not happy up here in the numerator. I would like to move across the fraction line to the denominator, to the other neighborhood. So we, I could rewrite this, okay, um, and put the 9 in the denominator. And now it's happy in this neighborhood. So we can take off the negative and just write it as a positive. Now up here I have nothing left, so I'm going to just put a 1 up there. And down here, the 1 that was here, 1 times 9 squared, well, that doesn't really affect every, anything. It's still just 9 squared. So they kind of just flipped. So the 9 to the negative 2 means I want to be 9 to the 2, exponent 2, but I want to be in the other neighborhood, on the other side of the line. So I just moved it down, and then I can drop the negative on the exponent. Now, now I'm just going to evaluate. So I have 1 up on top. 9 squared just means 9 times 9. Well, I know what that is. That's just 81. So now I have taken this exponent and just simplified it, multiplied it out. 9 times 9 is 81. So my final answer is going to be 1 over 81. Now, if I had started with, now they didn't give me this problem, but just in case you get one like this, if I had started with uh, something down in the denominator with a negative exponent, that just means I'm not happy in this neighborhood. I want to cross the tracks right, or cross the bar and move to a different neighborhood. So that 6 to the negative third, when he moves upstairs to the numerator, now he's happy in that neighborhood and we can take off the negative. And I put a 1 down there. And then I would just multiply this out. So 6 times 6 times 6. And I'll just put that in my calculator here. 6 to the third, or 6 times 6 times 6, however you want to punch it in, 216. So this would be 216 in the numerator, or over 1, or just 216. Now again, they didn't give me this problem. I'm just doing a what-if scenario in case you happen to get one where your negative exponent is in the denominator.